Hey everybody! So, um, I actually, I did what the first step of the... No, not this one. Well, the, I think I, maybe I put it back in the box? I don't even know. Well, I did what the first step of the thing that I threw over there, okay? Um, the deck building guide said, which was to sort out all your cards. So I have all the spoils here. So here's the, uh, the spoils of, of warrior. Um, as you can see, I'll do a little pan, do -do 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 -do, pan, do -do 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 -do, pan. So I actually got a few more, you, including the, the four packs. I got a few more white cards and red cards and blue cards than I did green and black. I only got a few um, multicolored cards. Um, as far as I can tell. Well, yeah. I only got a few multicolor cards that came out of the packs. A couple lands. Big old pile of basics. So the good cube fodder, fodder and a nice foil planes. Like I said, I got the uh, I got the the nine the nine rares. Um, so you can look at them all as I go by. Feel free to, you know, pause or whatever. A few um, artifacts. But I thought what the most interesting thing was the, like the seed packs for decks. Um, and they come with, you know, the start of one, you know, evolving wilds to help you fix your mana. Um, and then, like, this is for life gain. Basically, it's a life gain deck. Um, that is, that is all it is, is life gain. You're supposed to be able to, um, some of the, some of the decks, um, the intro pack allows you to pay life to do things, so you can add that on. But I thought that was interesting. Um, I also got the, the bounce green, green and blue creatures to, to have interesting things happen. Which is a cute enough idea, but it didn't bring me any of the good cards. I thought the Mono Black Devotion pack actually would help me because I'm working on building it and, you know, uh, maybe one or two of these cards actually do help me. Um, another Sign in Blood. I got three Sign in Bloods in here, so that actually helps a bit. And then this one was the Green Black... I don't even remember. Monstrous? supposed to be green black monstrous or something um, I'll put a little quotey box guy that pops up and says what it should be um, so that's all that stuff this is uh, this could be better but I also wanted to talk about you know the new card frame and the new stuff so here is the the new rare card frame comes with the little you know I've seen these on baseball cards all the time. Certificate of Authenticity, shiny little Majager. You can see the difference between there. The black on the bottom is, you know, if you've noticed, that's always been on a planeswalker. It's always rounded itself out in the bottom. Um, so they just applied that to all the cards, basically. See, no black rounded. Yes, black rounded. Um, it's a little harder to see on the black cards. Um, but on top of that, they even changed the way that the that the tokens look. And I'm I'm not sure I like the change in the way the tokens look. See, this is the soldier token. So now it's kind of like instead of the oval, you get like a like a window flat on the bottom. Um, it squashes down. Well, actually, it probably doesn't squash down. See the token. Actually, do -do 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 -do, see the. The uh, the type and the type line is uh, it's about the same spot. They move up. They move up the uh, power and toughness. I don't really like the full box top though. I like the little you know all you need is whatever you need box top. See this one, the golem. It only uses the top, and this is a also a soldier, and it just uses the top middle. This one uses all of the top of the the card. I mean, really? Do you need all that? It's kind of out of the way. Anyway, well, that's just me 
you know, bumming around. So these were my spoils. I could build decks with them if I wanted to, but likely what I'll do is I'll just uh, steal all the really good cards and um, you know put them put them in the decks that I want to put them in, and the rest, who knows? They'll just go into card stock, uh, go into another cube one day, or I'll start selling repacks. There you go. You have a chance to win a Mox Emerald. <laughs> right. You have a, a chance to win a... A super secret tech. I do actually own one of those. That would probably get people to buy it. Ooh, oh, $15 shiny from Unglued? Yes. Please give me a $3 pack of mostly commons and uncommons and possibly a rare. Um, but, actually, I was going to potentially buy some of those just to show you how useless some of them actually really are, what you can expect from them. Uh, yeah, so, thanks for watching, this is the spoils video. You won't get to watch the spoils video until I've had the other video up for like a day. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll in all my new cards. Actually, I'm gonna smell them. Um, yes, I'm one of those weird guys who smells the cards because they're fresh. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day.